Hi everyone, Sandra here from The Chauvin's Nest. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy tutorial on how to customize your own coffee mugs with Ray Dunn Lookalike font. These are hand drawn using oil based markers and following the Ray Dunn font that I saw online. Don't worry if your handwriting isn't that great, these are really simple letters to copy. You could also use a stencil that has the similar letters or a Cricut. Let's get started. These are the tools you're going to need. Two or three of these cotton pads or cotton balls. Either a spray on rubbing alcohol or just in the bottle is fine as well. Of course you're going to need some coffee mugs. Um, these ones are dishwasher and microwave safe. You might want to have that as well because they're going to need to go in the oven. And then you're going to need some oil based paints. I have this one from CraftSmart and I'm also going to use this Sharpie one. I got both of these at Michael's. The first step is to use the rubbing alcohol to thoroughly clean the mugs. The rubbing alcohol gets rid of any greasy fingerprints or uh, smudges, anything that might prevent the ink from sticking. For mine, I'm going to do both sides and make sure that everything is nice and clean. I looked online to find some Ray Dunn font images. I'll link this one in the description box below. Then I just used a pen to practice some of the lettering that I wanted to use. The first pen I'm going to use is the Craft Smart oil based black pen. It has a rounded tip so if you hold it either straight up you can get a thick line, if you hold it on an angle you'll get a thin line. So it really depends on what kind of effect you're looking for. Before I started I decided that I wanted to use some painters tape just to mark out the area where I want my letters to be um, so they would all be approximately the same size on each mug. When I'm doing any sort of letter printing, I like to find the center of the item that I'm putting it on and then I split the word in half and I start with the middle letters and then move out to the right and then go back and start in the middle again and move out to the left. It just helps me to keep things a little bit more even. You can see that I'm a little wiggly on here. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's free form so I thought it looked cute. All my letters aren't going to be perfect but that's okay. I'm good with that. After taking a look at the finished letters I noticed that some of the white was shining through so I decided to go over a couple of the letters with the pen again just to darken them up and even make them just a little bit thicker. Here's where I'm trying to straighten out that wiggly J because it was a little bit shaky when I was doing it. Here's a close up. So I waited a few minutes for the one side to dry and then I taped the other side of the mug and proceeded to write the word Java in there as well. I'm sure you've all heard the phrase practice makes perfect. By the time I got to the third and fourth mug I was feeling pretty confident. I was drawing straighter lines and thicker lines and the third and fourth mugs turned out a lot nicer than this first one. Here's where I noticed that the Java that I originally created on the one side is smaller than the Java on the other side. So this is the one I'm going to remove and I'm going to show you that process now. 
So this is the mug that I want to change. Um, I don't like it. Um, I got a couple of bumpy spots. So in order for me to remove this oil-based paint, you need to use 100% acetone. This is from the drugstore, but you can also get it at any beauty supply, including Sally Beauty Supply. You're going to put some on the cotton pad and then just start rubbing the letters and you're going to see that they're slowly going to be coming off. You do have to apply a bit of pressure, but once it's totally clean, then you can go ahead and use the rubbing alcohol to spray over it again and try your lettering one more time. So you can do this as often as you need to make sure that you have the letters the way you like them. For the next couple of mugs, I'm going to try the Sharpie pen. It has more of a rounded tip and again, you need to either put less pressure or more pressure depending on how thick you want your lines. Once you're done with the mugs, take a look at them and check if there are any mistakes or any little lines or pieces of color that you want to remove. Using a Q-tip and the 100% acetone again, you can go ahead and wet the Q-tip and then just rub it along wherever you need to clean it up and it will just remove very easily. Just note that the acetone dries fairly quickly, so you'll need to reapply it to the Q-tip a couple of times. Now it's time to bake them. You want to put the mugs on a baking sheet in your oven, in a cold oven, and then set the temperature to 425 degrees so the mugs can heat up at the same time that the oven does. This will prevent any cracking or breaking of the mugs. Once your oven rings that it's set at 425 degrees, you want to time it for 30 minutes, leave the mugs in there, and then you're going to turn your oven off after 30 minutes and just let the mugs cool down with the oven at the same time. After they've been cooling down in the oven for about an hour, you can take them out and let them cool on the counter. Now you'll be able to use your mugs for coffee and tea and gently hand wash them under warm water. Now I have a set of four Ray Dunn look-alike coffee mugs and I'm really pleased with the results. Check out your local craft stores for oil-based paint pens. The Sharpie ones are available in a few different colors. I've seen white, black, red, silver and gold. So just imagine what you can do with your coffee mugs, ceramic plates, pitchers, anything else that you want to personalize for your home. I hope you enjoyed the video and it gave you some inspiration to Ray Dunn some of your projects around the house. If you liked the video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.